<laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, so the cat one. What was it? It was the night before my last exam. I can't even remember which exam it was. I'd have to go back on Facebook and look. Um, so I was like, God damn, I was talking to someone. I was talking to one of my friends, Scott, who I went to high school with. And I was like, we were talking about something stupid. I think I was studying for a computer science exam or something. That's why I was talking to him, because he's a computer science major. He's a fucking genius. Like, if you ever need anything computer science related, you go to him. Like, he knows his shit. Um, so, I was studying, talking to him, and he was mentioning how fucking hungry he was. I was like, damn, I'm really craving fucking steak and shake now that you said that. And I was like, I hadn't had steak and shake in a long time. Like, fuck, I, I just need to do it, man. It's exam week, I just gotta hurry up and get it, get back, and keep studying. So I'm like, alright, fine, I'll go to steak and shake, go get my food, I'll come back, keep studying on this shit, you know. Whatever, life goes on, have my exam, go on fucking fuck some shit up during the summer. So I get in my car, I go, go steak and shake, I start driving, start, my mind's kind of going, wandering around or whatever. Uh, it's like 11.35 or 11.40 at night, I'm just fucking going to steak and shake. So I start, I'm getting really close to the steak and shake and I'm like, damn, I really want a fucking five way right now. Cause like whenever I go to Steak and Shake, it's always the same thing. It's a fucking banana shake and a fucking five way, and they fucking hate it because the five way takes fucking forever to cook. It takes at least like nine or ten minutes, especially if you go through the drive through. Cause it's like Steak and Shake is one of those places where they shouldn't have a drive through, cause like they actually make their shit. So, like the drive through line is either one really long or two. There's some asshole that makes it really long, which is fucking me. Um, so. <laughs> Like, I'm almost there, and I'm like, damn, I really want this fucking shake. So, all I need to do is, like, go over this one hill, I make a left, I'm fucking there, I can start doing whatever the fuck I want. So, I go down this hill, and it's like a small valley. You go down the hill, you go back up the other side of this hill, and you make a left. Well, I'm going down the hill, and I see, like, there's a raccoon or some shit. Like, on when I need to go up, so I'm like, whatever, like, it'll, that fucker will go away, like, just keep driving, it's on the side of the road anyway, like, it's either A, dead, or it's just, like, chilling, doing its fucking raccoon thing, you know, it might be trash night, it's just doing its own, it's little niggas chilling. So, I start going down, uh, I get to the bottom of the hill, and the little thing is starting to, like, it's, it's moving, so it's not dead just yet. And I see, like, it's it's going towards the street. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. Like, I'll just speed up a little bit. Like, you know, try to give it some room. I don't want to hit this little nigga. So I'm at the very bottom of the hill now, and I'm starting to go up this fucking hill. And I'm like, all right, um, little nigga, you need to move. Like, I, you're getting kind of close to me. I'm like, you know, you should get the fuck out of the way. It's starting to, like, creep into, the, into my lane. I'm like, all right. So I start like moving to the left a bit to compensate because I see there's no one coming down this hill. So I start getting in the other lane, and the thing just keeps coming. I'm like, okay, little nigga, like you need to chill out. But <laughs> don't do this, man. You can't do this. So I'm still going. I'm going like 35, 40, and it just keeps coming. I'm like, dude, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then it just bolts right when I get right next to it. it bolts into my car and just kills itself on my car. I'm like, oh shit. And so like, I try to swerve out of the way, it's obviously too late, and then I get back in my lane, and I'm like, I'm like oh shit, and I look at the rear view, the thing ain't moving, I'm like, oh god fucking damn it. So, I look at this, I was like, oh shit. So like, I just killed, like, I was like, at first I thought it was like a raccoon or something, I was like, god damn it, like, I just killed this thing, I didn't feel kind of guilty, I'm like, oh god, I have to sit in this drive through and wait a fucking hour. I have to pass by it too. So like, I go order my food. The whole time I'm like, shit, I just killed some nigga's cat or something, probably. <laughs> so like, I start writing this Facebook status. And I'm like, I don't, I don't like this. I was like, I just killed some shit. <laughs> and it takes me like 10 minutes. I'm sitting here starting to feel really guilty about myself. And then I get my shake and I start going back. It was this kitten, dude. I, I like, murdered this kitten. Or, let me rephrase that. The kitten killed itself on my car. And I'm sitting here trying to drive. And I'm like, I can't do this. So, like, I'm sitting here driving. And I'm like, like, right in this Facebook status. 
the cat <laughs> dedicated to this cat. I'm like, I'm silent, nigga. It was, it just wasn't your time yet, but you just wanted to make it that. I was like, oh man. So I come back, back to the house, and I, I was like, almost like, I was really upset. And I just killed. I was like, damn, nigga. I just killed. Like, there's probably some little kid who's gonna wake up the next day and be like, where's my kitty? I'm like, oh, spoiler alert, your kid's dead. It's like, oh man. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> so I get back to my house and I'm obviously distressed. It's cause like, what the hell did that just happen? I told them like everything. I was like, man, I'm such a bad person. I was like, I should have went to Steak and Shake. I was like, I didn't go there for a reason. So I still haven't gone to that Steak and Shake ever. <laughs> oh my god. That's how I murdered someone's cat. You're so destructive with your car. Like, remember that time we ran over the Hobo Hotel? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I told you guys that. I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I, have, I have more car stories, actually, that happened recently. Oh, God. <laughs> Which one? I have two of those that I'll tell you. Tell them both, man. Number one or number two? Alright. Which one do you want to hear first? One's a lot shorter than the other. Then go for the long one first. Nah, I'll tell the short one first, actually. Yeah, Alright, uh, so this this past weekend or whatever, um, like, uh, so I got my car or whatever. Um, my dad finally put the car in my tire and in my name and everything. So I have my car. It's a 2005 Hyundai Sonata. All pimped out and shit. My dad originally bought it, and he got a new car, gave it to me. So I have this car. Um, it hadn't been maintenanced or put in the shop or anything in about a year and a half because my brother was driving it before, and he kept it so shitty. Like I had to clean the whole thing out. I, like Febreze needs to make like a fucking paste that you just set on like inside your car that just. Like, dissolves the fabric that way you can just put more fabric on the fucking car because there's like mushrooms growing out of it because someone spilled a fucking frosty or some shit and left it there for a year like i did work on the inside of that fucking car man and it looked it looked pretty damn good it's still pretty good um so i got this car and this past weekend my mom's like you know you should come back home uh Cause it's Halloween and it's gonna be the first time you're not home for Halloween and shit. Um, like th your dad's feeling really shitty. You should come home this weekend. It's like we'll get new tires for your car, new windshield wipers, everything. Like we'll take care of your car. We'll go get a service for this weekend. I'm like, all right, sweet. Like I'm going home. I'm getting candy and shit. Like this is actually gonna be pretty good. So I drive home. I, p I fill up the tank of gas and everything. I'm like, fuck it, let's go home. So I get home, and it's about 8.30 at night, and I'm greeted to my dad the second I get to the door. I didn't even get to open the door or anything. He just, he's like, all right. He's like, oh, you're home. He's like, let's go. I'm like, okay, uh, what do you mean? He's like, let's, what do you mean by let's go? He's like, come on, just get back in the car. Like, let's go to the service place. I'm like, why? I'm like, it's 8.30 on a Friday. Why? What do you mean? He's like, oh, come on. He's like, let's just go. I'm like, all right. He's like, all right, give me your keys. I'll drive. Okay. So, I give him the keys, and he starts the car, and he's like, oh, I forgot something. So, he goes back inside. He comes out with, like, a two-pound bag of candy, and gets in the car, just throws the throws the fucking candy on my lap. He's like, all right, let's go. I was like, what the, f what's going on? And I was like, I don't understand. So, he backs out, and about tw five, six minutes into this drive, I realize... We ain't going to get my car fixed. I was like, all right, Dad. I was like, where the fuck are we going? I'm like, oh, we're obviously not getting this car service. It's 8.30 at night. Like, what the fuck? He's like, oh, we need the car for this weekend. So, yeah, we're taking the car. I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, we're just going to drive you back to your apartment now. I was like, what? <laughs> like, are you serious? Like, you couldn't just tell me you need my car? He's like, no. Nope. So, after 35 minutes, I end up back at my apartment with no car, with a two-pound bag of candy. And he's like, alright, bye. <laughs> Fucking leave. <laughs> so. 
so then I go back this weekend and I go to get my car and no, he didn't do anything to it. He didn't bring it in for service at all. It was, it, it's still a shithole in it in a bit. Like he put a bunch of shit in the front seat. So like, yeah, he baited me with candy, and I'm ashamed to say it fucking worked. <laughs> <laughs> And it fucking worked well. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga didn't even get me three musketeers. He got me like the shitty bargain fucking bag. It was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I got like the one with like fucking small ass milk duds and like the really shitty, like not even fun size, like fucking urine size. Like, what the fuck, man? That's fucked up. Why are you gonna do me like that? <laughs> um, let's see. And the second one, um, oh, when was this? Three weeks ago? Almost a month. Three weeks. Uh, um, so, I got in touch with a lot of my old high school friends and shit. And a lot of them go to Ohio State. Um, I go to Miami, which is uh, still in the southwest Ohio. Columbus, which is where Ohio State is, is in the middle of the fucking state. Um, and then another one of my friends goes to Case Western, which is in Cleveland, at the very top of Ohio. Um, so, altogether, it, it takes about five hours, or rather, it should take about five hours to get from Cincinnati to Cleveland. Um, so I was talking to all my friends, and they're like, "Oh, you should come up to OSU for the weekend and everything. Like, we're gonna go see Victor up at Case Western. Like, you should just come with us. Like, it'll be pretty fun. Like, we haven't seen you in fucking forever. Like, we play league sometimes, but you know, whatever. Like, they're also ha having this land party up at Case Western. We're all gonna go. So I'm like, all right, fine. Like, I haven't, I haven't met up with you guys in a long time. Like, let's let's fucking go. Um, so. I was sitting here planning this shit. I'm like, alright, I'll leave my apartment um, Friday, right after class. Um, I'll stop by home really quick, because it's kind of on the way, and then I'll go up to Columbus, pick up some of you guys, and we'll go straight up to Cleveland. Um, so we'll get there, we'll get to Cleveland around, I don't know, like 10, 10.30ish, if it's really bad. Um, and then we'll spend the night, do shit in Cleveland, and then go back to Columbus, Sunday we'll have Columbus, and then I'll drive back home, and then Monday go back to class, etc. Oh, hey, this works out really good, let's do this. Uh, so that Friday rolls around, um, I stay after for my class by like 30 minutes because the professor won't shut the fuck up and we have this stupid test shit, and I, like everyone was like freaking out because it was this giant group assignment and shit, it was dumb. So I'm already late. I'm like, all right, fine. Like, I have to stop by home. I need to pick up some shit, and then I need to leave. Um, so I leave Oxford um, to go to my house. There's traffic out the ass. It's a giant shithole. Like, eight people decided to like kill themselves <laughs> right on, right near the exit out of the highway. <laughs> so what should be like 35, 40 minutes to get home turns into like two hours of trying to make like a right hand turn. Um, so I'm already super late, I'm texting people, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna be late, like, I don't know how much, and they're like, alright, fine, like, I still need to pack anyway, cause we're gonna go up to fucking Cleveland shit, you know, whatever, it's fine. Um, I finally get home, I get all my shit together, and then I'm like, ah, oh, shit, like, I need some fucking music or something, like, I have a bunch of CDs, but I don't wanna fucking use all these CDs, I don't wanna burn any more CDs, cause I don't have any more CDs. Fuck it. So I go to Best Buy and I go get a fucking cassette thing to just stick in the cassette thing and it turns it into like a 3.5 inch yeah. so I can just listen to music from my iPod or whatever. The first one I get doesn't even fucking work so I have to go back in the store, return the shit. This takes up like another 40 minutes. This time like I should already be pretty much close to Columbus. I'm texting my friends. I'm like, dude, I'm going to be even later. I'm like, this ain't, this ain't working. I was like, this is just not, like I'm going to fucking die. They're like, alright, just like, take your time, you know, there's no rush, we still have this whole weekend, you know, we'll still go out to Columbus, it's whatever. Um, Q45 minutes of trying to make a left-hand turn to get onto the highway where four people tried to kill themselves again <laughs> and succeeded. 
So, <laughs> I'm sitting here in like this middle of this like four lane intersection trying to make a left on the highway and it's backed up like so fucking much. So it takes me like an hour to make this left hand turn, an hour to get on to the actual ramp, and about 35 minutes to actually start getting past like 20 miles per hour on the highway. So by now it's like, it's basically around like 10 when I should be in Cleveland right now, or like 9.30ish, and I'm like, I don't even like, this is fucking stupid. So the whole time I'm like trying to get around, and it's like I've only been, I've only went about, I don't know, 40 miles altogether. It's like, this is fucking stupid. And I can't turn around or anything, because it's like, I'm just taking the highway straight to Columbus. This is the most direct route I can, and like, I can't even turn around because there's so much fucking traffic. So I'm like, whatever, like, just stay the course, like, who gives a shit, like, worst comes to worst, this weekend I'm fucking getting there. So I get to Columbus, finally, and the whole time it is pouring ass rain. I don't know anywhere in Columbus, I've never been up there before, everything's fucking one way. So I ended up, like, cutting <laughs> off at least, like, four or five different cars, and I was going down one ways in the wrong direction and shit. I was, like, freaking out. I was, like, I don't know where the fuck I am. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm, like, like, this is fucking stupid. I finally find their apartment building, or at least the street on it, and I just pull over on the side of the road and call them. I'm, like, I don't know where the fuck I am, but I'm on the same road. So I spent, like, ten minutes of us just being on the phone and me just waving my arms around and honking my fucking car. <laughs> to try to find where the fuck I am. <laughs> Finally, I find them. And I need to parallel park myself in the smallest ass space on the side of the road while it's raining, drenched, my fucking wipers suck dick, and my lights are, like, one of my taillights is dead. And let's just say I almost got a hit and run. <laughs> it was really bad. So eventually I said fuck it and I just parked in the street and put my hazard lights on because that, that's like a free parking space. Like you put your hazard lights on, you know. You just park around wherever. As long as you're still in the end of the car. Like the cop comes, you just fucking start moving. Like GG, easy. Like sorry officer, I just puked in my mouth. Like I just, I'll keep going now. <laughs> so, like they got all this shit, they throw it in the trunk. And we tried to make our way up to fucking Cleveland. Well, four more niggas, like, die <laughs> trying to, like, get through the fucking spaghetti not called the fucking Columbus Highway. So by this time, it's like 1.30 in the morning. We're not even halfway to our fucking destination. We still got, like, 255 miles to go. And we can't leave. So we had to go out the exit to the south wrap our way all around Columbus and kind of get back on the highway. Well, you know, that would be all fine and dandy, but I'm running the fuck out of gas because I just spent the last four and a half hours in fucking traffic out the fucking dicks. So, I end up trying to, like, find, like, I have, like, my friend operate, like, my, the GPS on my phone to try to find, like, a gas station. He's Asian, so he doesn't even know where the hell, he, he can't even read English. <laughs> <laughs> so, it takes us like 25 minutes to find a fucking gas station, and we go on our merry way up to fucking Cleveland, if it was that easy. So, it's about 2, we finally leave Columbus, um, someone decided to just like hit a tree in the middle of the fucking highway, <laughs> like, the tree just popped out and they hit, <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> now we're going 10 miles an hour down the highway. So... By the like, it was just stop and go. But the whole time, like my friends were like, "Holy shit!" They're like, "What the fuck did you do?" And I was like, "They're like, you were so late." They're like, "We should be in Cleveland right now." They're like, "Are you serious?" He's like, "Has it been this bad?" I was like, "You have no fucking idea." I was like, "This stop and go traffic makes the last seven hours of my life look like a fucking walk in the fucking park." I was like, "At least we're fucking moving." Before I was sitting there with everyone getting all pissed off and honking at me, like fucking. Fucking <laughs> own shit out my window. I was pissed off. <laughs> Why the fuck are we not moving? <laughs> so like they're sitting here. And they're like trying to like plan out like what the hell we're doing. Like when the hell are we even getting there? Like the one dude's like getting tired up in Cleveland, so he's probably gonna go to bed. So we're like, okay, like what the hell do we do? Like is he gonna answer his phone? We don't know where the fuck we're going. Um, so the whole time we're sitting here driving like 15 miles an hour and they're all like, dude, like, what if, it, what if you're cursed? Like, I'm not fucking cursed. They're like, well, I don't know, man. Bad traffic follows you. You're 
such a bad driver too. I'm like, fuck you, man. I drive fine. I'm the best fucking driver ever. Like, if you need someone to drive, I'll do it. Like, I'll hit shit, but we'll get there. Yeah, dude, I was murdered. Fuck that cat. Hey, it killed itself, okay? It was. I was just there, okay? So, it takes us at least another 45 minutes. And then when we figure out, like, we get by the car, which had, like, a super accident, it didn't even really have an accident. One of its fucking tires fell off, and it just wouldn't move. Because the front <laughs> end of the car was just on the ground, and they didn't want to, like, turn it on and scoot it over to the side of the fucking road. No one was, like, going to get out of their car to help them, because it's fucking pouring outside. So, like, we get on this car, and, oh, wow, we're back to normal for once in our fucking lives. Uh, nope. So after about 45 minutes of actually going the speed limit, uh, more people decided to kill themselves. So by the time we get to Cleveland, it's about 4:30 in the morning. I'm like pissed. I've been in the car so far for at least 12 hours. My ass is killing me. We've listened to the same Taylor Swift fucking <laughs> CD on my friend's fucking iPod about six times. But they're like, they're, they're like, man, they're like, this is really taking a long time, isn't it? I was like, really, yo, Nick? Like, I'm, I'm fucking, I had a piss so bad. Like, don't even fucking talk about how long this journey is, because I was driving for over half of it without you fuckers in here. And they're like, man, Ben, you're so dick at driving. Like, I don't see why you couldn't just have one of us drive. Like, you could have just told us, man. Like, fuck you, man. This is even my fault. Like, fuck you. You're Asian. Like, you don't even get a say. Probably, we'd be dead by now. We'd be the person on the side of the road with like half a car <laughs> without a halfway. <laughs> so we got up in Cleveland, and like the streets are so narrow, and. Like, the lines aren't even really painted on, so, like, I don't know where, which fucking lane I'm in, like, I can't even tell. Like, no one in the car, they're like, we're gonna fucking die. I'm sitting here trying to, like, hold whatever shred of, like, pride I have for, like, driving already. I can't, I seriously cannot, for the life of me, like, tell where the fuck the lines on the road are, and no one else around me can either, apparently. So, we're sitting here driving down these roads in the middle of fucking bumfuck Cleveland, like, ghetto, like, hearing gunshots and shit. And we're trying to find this fucking house, and I, I, I don't know what the hell people were smoking, but there is a six-way intersection right, right outside of Case Western. I, I have never seen a fucking six, six-lane intersection in my life. Turn that with it's fucking, it's hailing now. It's raining as fuck. We can't see the lines on the fucking road. Like this probably has like dead people lining the side. There's a gang fight. Like shit. This is just not. This weekend is gonna be hell. <laughs> this is just the beginning. So like the six-way intersection. Like I was like, oh shit. Like I don't know what the fuck to. It was like, everything was green, like, three of the lights were green, and the other three were red, I'm like, wait, like, someone's gonna fucking kill themselves, <laughs> like, in this intersection? So, like, I don't know which, where I'm supposed to even go, like, I can't tell which one, because two of them were one way, apparently, one of them's not, the other one, I don't even know what the fuck, long story short, I just guessed and just went down one of them, because it's, it's <laughs> fucking, I can't tell which one I'm supposed to go down, like, this Google Map GPS is bullshit. Uh, I went down a one-way street and go the wrong direction. <laughs> so we started going down the street and like I was staying to the right and I was like, damn, this must be the most narrow-ass fucking street ever. And uh, then it hit me. This is one way. <laughs> uh, and the people are sitting there honking at us, like going by. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, oh shit. I was like, I can't even turn around because like the people are still coming. Like, there's no time for me to get over. And there's fucking parked cars right in front of me, so like, it's either I'm parked the wrong direction, or I'm I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Better yet, like, I have to turn around and go back to the same six-way intersection. So like, I finally get a break, I nigger my car around in a circle, and I go the right way, and <laughs> the stupid one way. But, it didn't hit me, like, I am so disoriented, and the GPS is still unhelpful, I still don't know where the fuck I'm going. And I'm back in the six-way fucking intersection. So, like, this one dude was just making the left in front of me, so I just followed him. And it turns out, we, no, we were in the wrong fucking lane again. Like, there were two lanes, and apparently I was in the middle of them, and people were honking me. 
and shit and being dicks and I was like this is fucking stupid the people in the back seat were flipping the fuck out like wow Ben you're gonna get us all killed we're gonna die I'm like we're not gonna fucking die like, shut the hell up <laughs> we'll get to this fucking house I don't give a fuck I have invested way too much fucking time and effort into this stupid fucking you know, I should have just done a meth addiction cause it would have been a lot easier <laughs> So, after like 30 minutes of Google Maps and trying to like, we're panicking, like, where the fuck are we? I finally get at least remotely near where this fucking location is. Um, what Google Maps didn't tell us is that some of these roads are still one way. So, I, I recognize like, um, Charlie, who's the one holding the GPS, is like, you need to make a right here. I'm like, I can't, it's a one way. He's like, alright, well, just keep going straight. You know, usually in these cities, like, it alternates one way with one street, well, other way down the other street, you know. No. It doesn't. We end up fucking just keep going straight, and it seems like every single one way is just pointing in our direction. There's no way to get down the other streets. Like, every single one is one way. Like, we keep driving, it's like a fucking mile of just one way is pouring on our street, and there's none going that back the other way. And so, eventually we run into fucking Lake Erie, because we can't go north anymore, because we're at the end of fucking Ohio. <laughs> and so, eventually, I was like, I was like, I can't do this. Like, all we need is we just need to make a right onto this block and just go south, because we already fucking passed it. And Google Maps is still telling us to go down the one-way streets all along the right side. And so, so like a good technical person, I went down more one ways, going the wrong direction. Um, I didn't hit anyone. Cause there's no one there, so I'm pretty sure we were in like the fucking Bronx or some shit and gonna get shot. There's no one in the right mind would be over there. Um, we finally get to this dude's house, and we can't even tell which house it is because none of these fuckers are numbered. Um, so like any reasonable person, um, we get out of the car in the freezing rain and start calling him instead of staying in the car. Um, I don't know where to park my car. In fact, I know I can't park here. I need to park at his house in his driveway. Because this is a tow zone. So, we start, like, trying to figure out which house he is. He went to bed. It's fucking 5 in the morning. We're finally here. I've been driving now for 14 hours. I'm not fucking happy. <laughs> I've already spent $80 getting here. Like... He doesn't answer his fucking phone. So, what we end up doing is fucking sleeping partially in the car on the side of the road. Actually, no, we didn't sleep in the side of the road. We pulled up onto one of the driveways, just parked our car in someone's driveway on the same street as this dude, and just like, we took turns just sleeping. <laughs> For about a good two hours until this fucker woke the fuck up in the morning. It's so, like I would sleep for like an hour and like someone else would stay awake the whole time just sitting in this fucking car. Cause we were like we didn't want to just like go down each fucking house and knock on the door and be like, Are you Victor's house? No, okay. No, we'll just sleep in someone's driveway. Um when we finally managed to call this dude after he wakes up, he's like, Oh, that's not the street I live on. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? He's like, no, that's not it. He's like, you're on the other side. He's like, why? He's like, you parked on, like, West Millet. I'm on East Millet. And I'm like, Charlie, are you fucking serious? You typed this shit in wrong? And he's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> so, it's like, <laughs> back to fucking Warways. <laughs> trying to find this fucking street. Luckily, it was a lot easier to find this fucking house, so like, it's, by now it's like 8.30 in the morning. Finally get to this dude's house, I have to park in this back lot with seven other cars. And we get in his fucking house, and everyone is just like, fuck this shit, I wanna go to bed. I have been driving now for like 15 and a half hours. It was like I woke up, I like, I had class too, I've basically been up for 20 four hours and most of it was driving. Um what the fuck? Bitch no you did not just, no, you did not just... Alright, whatever, fuck that guy. So we take a video 
Alright, so we take it, we all fucking sleep. We're like, fuck this shit. Like, we're going to bed. Like, fuck you, Victor. You had to sleep. We're sleeping. So we sleep until like 3 30. It's now Saturday. So we go up in Case Western. And they have a big ass LAN area. And they had another like LAN tournament. We went there. It's for like League of Legends and Counter Strike. Um, I got second in the Counter Strike thing because it was fucking gun game. And come on, gun game's fun and easy. And I wasted all of my high school playing gun game, so. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it was a miserable failure at life, but at least I won a fucking almost won a tournament at this fucking university. Um, so, we all have a good time that night. Um, eventually, we go back to Victor's house after having this huge land thing. It was really cool. I had a shit ton of computers there. It was like 70 or something. Um, just computers dedicated to Case Western's gaming club thing. Um, and then we went to... We were all getting really hungry because this whole time we were just basically living off of like chips and random shit that we ate at Victor's house. And Victor's house is just like a frat house in a way. So we need to go out and go get food. Which means driving. <laughs> which means more one ways. So <laughs> eventually we're sitting here like talking to Victor like where the fuck are we going to go to eat? And this <laughs> one of his roommates, uh, I think his name is Brian, he's like, okay, well, we, we got to go. He's like, y have you guys ever been to Ghetto Bell, right? I'm like, what? I was like, no, I've never even been here. And Victor's like, oh god, we don't want to go to Ghetto Bell. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And his roommate's like, alright, so there's this Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, it's big named Ghetto Bell. In fact, if you look it up on Google Maps, it's under Ghetto Bell. It's not under Taco Bell. Seriously? He's like, <laughs> he's like, the only time that I went to this Ghetto Bell, I went to this Ghetto Bell uh, through the drive-thru um, around like 5 at, uh, five um, p.m. And, and the only time I went there, and the only time I will ever go there, once I got my tacos and was counting them, I was swarmed by six cop cars with all loaded guns pointing at me telling me to get out of my car because apparently I fit this shady description of someone who robbed some place like three days ago. He was like, so why was that gunpoint with officers screaming at me asking me what I was doing and I started crying and said I was just cutting my tacos off. So, so it's like... So naturally, you know, we have to go to Ghetto Bell because, you know, we already lost control of our lives and we, we, don't want, we want to die before we get back to wherever the fuck we have to be. So, like the complete moron I am, you know, we're going to fucking Ghetto Bell. Luckily, it's not that far. So we get to this fucking Ghetto Bell and, like, the sign is broken on it and the whole place just looks really shitty. <laughs> and, like, you know how they have, like, those drive through trash cans or whatever, which are, like, have a giant extension on them so you can just put shit from your window. All of those are just leaking and just like packed. It's like obviously this is fucking ghetto bell. Like it's like a graffiti everywhere. <laughs> and so, um, another thing that Brian said before he left, he's like, if you do go to ghetto bell, he's like, make sure you get a really large order. He's like, I don't care what you get, but they get really pissed off if you order a lot of food because it takes them forever to prepare it. So we get up to like <laughs> the the drive through and we have like this shagging wagon like fucking pedo van in front of us and the whole time like the van is like shaking <laughs> like it goes like shaking to the left a bit and it goes back to the right it just keeps like shaking like not even like fast just like gradually like over five seconds you'll see all the way to the car to the left and so it was like really sketchy like so we order like I think we ordered like 70 tacos all together. Like we got like two of the really big boxes of tacos. Got a shit ton of like, food. Because there were at least like nine people that we were getting food for. Back at this fucking house. And we go, we pay for this fucking food with my car. And like by now, like I'm running low on money. Like I'm, I'm like, I don't even, you know, it's, I should probably stop spending money. Like I don't know if I have... A whole lot more that I can go because obviously I need gas to get back to school on Monday. Um, so the whole time we're sitting here waiting fucking forever. We're just like there's the people in the back are like plotting ways to get me to do stupid shit for their entertainment because they know I'm kind of pissed off that this whole situation is not going ideal and we're at a fucking ghetto bell in the middle of fucking Cleveland. 
And so they're like, all right, they're like, hey, Ben, they're like, I'm like, what? I dare you to do something. All right, well, as long as I don't get arrested, I don't really care what it is. And what is it? Okay, so when you answer the food, make sure you call her a shoddy. When you pay for it, just act like a gangster. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, just do it, man. Just do it. I'm like, all right, fine. So she, she's like, okay, it's going to be like 97 something. I was like, she, you playing? And she looked at me and was like, she's looking at the whitest guy with like a good haircut wearing like a fucking sweater vest. <laughs> Trying to be gangsta in the middle of fucking Cleveland, <laughs> and she's just like, she's like, nah, I'm playing. She's like, it's like 97 something. I was like, shit, man. And the whole time, the people in the back are just sitting there, like, looking, like, oh shit, he's fucking doing it. I was like, all right, fine. It's like, I, I was like, I practiced my whole life for this. I've been around all of these niggers on bed. I know how it works. Oh my god. Like that. It's like. I'm I'm fucking I'm prepped. I'm prepped for this shit. Uh, this is gonna go real It's like she's like okay, she's like it's gonna be a couple minutes, you wanna move your car up like to this next parking spot? I'm like man I was like, Can I just stay here? I was like, I'm already looking at something good anyway, don't make me like move away from it and she looks at me and she was like she was like, You think you think I'm playing, you playing hard. I'm like, Yeah, I bet I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the win. And she's just like, smiles and closes the window. And the second they close the window, all the people in the back of the car were like, Damn, like, what the fuck? And they're just cracking the fuck up. They're like, I didn't think you were gonna fucking do it. I was like, why? I'm like, this is fucking stupid. And so, they started, she starts handing us bags, and every time she, like, hands me a bag to, like, give to the other people in the car, I'm like, yeah, man. I was like, yeah. And then, like, um, she's like, all right, she's like, this is the last bag, she's like, have a good one, and I was like, man, I wish I had your taco tonight, and she looks at me, she's like, Psh! and she just slams the window in my face, so I was like, fuck, so I don't want your shit anymore, <laughs> and so, like, I just drove off, and everyone in the car was, like, laughing their fucking dicks off. <laughs> like this is the best thing that's ever happened. I'm like, I just acted like a complete asshole to this poor woman who's working at like one in the morning at this fucking ghetto bell. And they're like, you know, you know, someday that that chick is gonna be like talking to her grandchildren, all like 19 of them, be like, yeah, this one time, this one rich motherfucking crack ass looking nigga trying to pick me up in this fucking ghetto bell, and I was like, nah, bitch, that ain't for free. <laughs> you cannot have it your way. <laughs> so, so, uh, what was it? And then we went back to Columbus for the rest of the day. Um, uh, for the next day, like we drove back to Columbus. Surprisingly, there was no traffic. Uh, that was really all we did at Case. Was I got on the got on my street level and embraced my inner black woman and tried to flirt with another. <laughs> 20s age black woman in a fucking Taco Bell drive through. Like, this is how my life has evolved to so much. So, like, in Columbus, um, let me see if I fucking have the picture. Where's my phone? Like, we, in the morning, we went to, like, this fucking Asian ass joint, and, like, I'm. I took a Chinese test. Like, I've been studying Chinese for, like, three and a half years. I have a bunch of Asian friends, hence all these fucking stupid Asian people. And let me see if I can find this fucking picture. Uh, maybe it's on Facebook. Meanwhile, go to my No, don't ruin this now. Uh, no. Oh. Shut up, peanut butter. Uh, I won't. Let me see if I can find this image. Shut up, Ty. He said no longer suppressed. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> fuck, that took a lot. I knew. Where the fuck is that picture, man? They got, they got a bunch of pictures of, like us driving and shit. 
Trying to find the one which I did in the fucking Chinese store. Oh, <sighs> shit, where is it? Like, there's photos of this on Facebook somewhere. That was actually really funny, Jay. Whatever, I can't find it. I don't know where the fuck it is somewhere. I'll dig it up eventually. So, but like, I took like the most Asian, like fucking white dude, fucking picture of me with this foe doing like fucking Gucci, fucking duck face and shit. It was pretty fly. And then I fucking bedazzled the shit out of it on like one of those free like fucking online image editors and shit. Uh, I'll find it eventually. I don't know where the fuck it is now. Um, let me see. What else did we do? Oh yeah. So when we're in Columbus, like we went to the Columbus fucking Chinese, um, like Chinatown or whatever, and I bought a shit ton of fucking vanilla wafers and shit, and it hit me like I still need to pay for like gas to get home and shit, and I look at my bank account and I have like. Twenty dollars in my fucking bank account, and my tank is empty almost. And I'm in the middle of fucking Columbus, and I still need to drive like three hours back to my fucking house. I'm like, this ain't this ain't fucking happening. Like, I ain't gonna be able to get home. So like, I call up my parents while I'm like in the middle of this China store. All my friends, they're all dicking around, like taking pictures of all this shit, doing their fucking thing. And I call my mom, and I'm like, hey, mom. She's like, yeah, what's up? How's, how's your trip going? I'm like, I, I, I was like, yeah, I was good, except for the part where I wanted to kill myself. Um, like, can you guys put some ban like money in my bank account so I can get home? You realize it's Sunday, right? So? The bank's <laughs> fucking closed. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you better just throw money <laughs> from your friends. She's like, we can't deposit money, like... I mean, we can deposit money on Monday, like, but, you know, I'm like, oh, that's not going to work. Like, I have an 8 a.m. class on Monday, like, it, what, what? Like a bird shit in my ear. Are you saying I'm fucked? Yeah, you're pretty fucked. I mean, we can, we're not going to drive up there and help you out anyway. Okay, bye. So, <laughs> this whole time, I'm starting to, like, freak out. I'm like, oh, shit, like, I'm not going to get home. Like, what the fuck's going on? Um, pair that with the fact that we're still running around in Columbus doing all these shenanigans. I'm meeting up with a bunch of people that I haven't met since high school. Um, and we go to a giant, like, fraternity party. Uh, shit happens. You get, people get drunk. I can't get drunk because I have to drive everyone else around because I can't have nice things. So I'm too busy hauling around, like, fucking drunk Asian guys and shit. Um, so I try hitting up money from them. That doesn't work. So, like, I'm looking at it from, okay, this whole weekend has been a giant bust, except for the land part. Um, I have a bunch of vanilla wafers. I'm broke. I need to wait until fucking Monday until I get money. Um, I don't know where I'm sleeping. I can't even park my car legally on Monday because I don't have a parking permit here. Like, life sucks. Um, Q, I dropped this person off at their apartment, and they said, like, I can stay the night there, but, like, I'm gonna go out and go meet some of the other high school people that I fucking need to meet with on a Sunday night, because they don't have class on Monday, because they have some fall break or some shit. So, I'm out all night doing shit, and then, I, like, around, like, four in the morning, I text the guy, like, alright, all right, like, can you come let me in? No, he passed the fuck out. So, what does Ben have to do? Well, ben drives back to one of the other people's houses and is like, Hey, can I crash here? And it just so happens, one of my friends was like, Wait a second, you're talking about Chris, right? Like, Chris, you're going to stay in his apartment? Yeah, I was planning on it, but now I guess I'm not. Oh, well, I have a key to his apartment, I think. Alright, cool. So I get the key from him, and I get, like, halfway in his apartment. So, like, I'm within the apartment building, but I'm not in his actual apartment room. So, cue me banging on the door for about 30 minutes trying to wake him up from his drunken stupor. That ain't happening. 
Um, so I call Jeff back, and I'm like, dude, like, I'm halfway in. Like, there's a second key. Oh, I have the second key, too. I forgot to give it to you. Drive all the way back to Jeff's fucking house. Drive all the way back to his fucking apartment. Get in his apartment. I don't even know, like, where I should be sleeping. But he, he has a cat, apparently, in this apartment. And the cat doesn't like me too much. Like, the cat's looking at me like, like it's kind of shitting itself because there's some random dude walking in his apartment at, like, 4.30 or 5 in the morning. So, I I finally, like, stumble around and find, like, this fucking sofa in the living room of this apartment. And I'm like, fine, I'll just crash here. So, like, I lay down and I start just going to bed. Like, I have a hoodie on that's soaked. And this cat is like, nah, bitch, nah. <laughs> Like he came in the wrong fucking neighborhood. <laughs> Cat jumps on me and starts like scratching the shit out of me. Like I'm like trying to like be quiet about it, and this cat's just hissing and like trying to beat, beat my shit in. I'm like, damn kitty, like slow down. Like he's a kitty, like don't fucking kill me. Like I'm 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 coming in peace. I just I just need to sleep in here. So this cat is going ape shit bananas, and like it scratches my arm up. So like eventually I can't remember how I did it. Like I got off the couch. <laughs> But I started like falling backwards. It's so, like I fall backwards and I like knock over his AC unit and an air like purifier and shit. And this cat starts hissing and going ape shit. And uh, fucking Chris's ru or Chris's um, girlfriend Bree runs out. She's like, "Who the fuck are you? What the fuck?" are you doing in our apartment? I'm like, Bree, like, I, I went to high school, yeah, you remember me? It's Ben. She's like, why the fuck are you in our apartment? Like, who even let you in? And I was like, I swear, I'm not trying to rob you or anything. I just need to sleep. And your cat's being a real weirdo right now. I was like, go wake up Chris. Like, Chris did those, like, Chris didn't tell you I was going to be here. No, I'll be right back. Don't move. Or I'll call the fucking cops on you. Like, all right. Take it easy there. I just want to sleep. <laughs> so like Chris wakes up, he's like, yeah, I just let him sleep on the couch, and she's like, well, he pissed off the cat, and I think he broke our AC unit, and she's pissed off, and I'm like, all right, you didn't change it all through high school, you're still a frigid bitch, and I hate you. So like, eventually they they take the cat and they shove it in their room, and like allow me to sleep on the fucking couch for three minutes before they leave. So it's now eight in the morning. I've missed class. I've been raped by a cat, um, still have no sleep, don't know how I'm getting home, my parents are, are, I don't even know if they're still wiring money to my account, I don't know what's going on, um, so I call my dad, and he's like, alright, like, I'll wire money to you, just drive home now, alright, fine, so I go to the gas station, um, I text all my friends, I'm like, I'm leaving now, peace, and they, they don't text me back or anything, so I just fucking up the, and start leaving, like, I go to the gas station, pump a bunch of gas, like, I overdraw my account in the process of doing that, and right when I'm about 20 minutes out of Ohio State, one of my friends texts me back, he's like, oh shit, he's like, well, we're, we're on, um, winter break, he's like, I forgot, I was gonna text you this morning, um, can you bring me back with you? Like, are you serious? Yeah. Like, you couldn't tell me this last night. No, like, I really need to go back home. Alright, fine. So I go back, I find his house, I pick him up, load all this shit in my car, and I finally start leaving. Um, start getting home, get in there, get to his house. Oh man, I forgot I don't have a key to my house anymore. Alright, well, can you call your mom or anything? Yeah, I guess so calls his mom um so we have to go to his mom's work to get a key to his house so that i can let him into his own house and then he's gonna give me the key and then i give it back to his mom so what happens like any other thing that happens to me is a load of bullshit so i go to his fucking work we get the key um i drive him and drop him back off at his house he gets in gives me the key back so that i can give it to his mom so he can get in or whatever um, I don't have his mom's phone number because I forgot to get it. So I call my friend to go, like, get him the, the fucking, like, tell him to call his mom. He passed the fuck out. Like, so now I have this key. I know where his mom is. So, like, I have to go to the receptionist. Tell the receptionist to give this bitch her key back. And then get the hell out of there. And I finally get home. And I missed all of my classes. Miss everything. I'm like, yeah, this is fucking stupid. Fuck this shit. And I go to bed, and I wake up at like 10:30 at night, 
And my parents apparently called me twice. I call them back and they're like, We're fucking pissed. They're like, you overdrew your fucking account, you moron. I was like, oh, alright. And they're like, well, I, you put more money into it, didn't you? No. No. <laughs> Why not? I, it, we, I thought we established this. No, I didn't put it in there yet. I was going to do it tonight. Alright. I was like, well, then I'll call them. So I call up PNC Bank. They're like, yeah, you overdraw for about a couple, about 35 minutes. Uh, so we're going to charge you $35. Alright, whatever, fine. So basically, after the whole weekend was said and done, I spent $160 and all of my life savings and probably a kidney and some of my skin to a cat in various places throughout Ohio. <laughs> and I missed my classes. So. Damn. And that was how I drove for over 28 hours in 72 hours.